SeaWorld published its second quarter earnings on Wednesday and waters are looking choppy for the company. With revenue down by more than $6 million and earnings missing the mark, SeaWorld stock at its low fell more than 30% on Wednesday alone. Many news outlets were quick to point out it's been little more than a year since the release of the controversial documentary Blackfish, which painted a dark picture of SeaWorld's practices of capturing and keeping killer whales. Did one movie make this much of an impact? After the film's release, SeaWorld remained quiet for a time before launching a campaign against the documentary, calling it propaganda. The Los Angeles Times says the film has brought harsh criticism to the popular theme park and reminds us of a Change.org petition calling for the release of Tilikum, an orca featured in the documentary. The film points to three separate killings involving the orca. The New York Post points to Southwest Airlines backing out of a 26-year partnership with SeaWorld as evidence of the film's effect on the company. Media coverage like this from Slate certainly hasn't helped SeaWorld's attendance or its bottom line. While attendance has actually risen 0.3% versus Q2 of 2013, Business Insider says year-to-date, attendance at SeaWorld parks is down 4.3%. For its part, SeaWorld attributes attendance rates to a late start to summer, a delayed opening of one of its attractions, and even makes a slight nod toward, quote, media attention as a possible reason for lackluster attendance. The company says its board of directors has authorized a $250 million share repurchase program and promises to cut costs in 2014 and 2015. For Newsy, I'm Micah Sargent.